Okay, I'm going to do a quick video explaining the phase two of our hot water system. Uh, don't mind some of the uh, temporary wiring right here. <laughs> uh, this is just to fire the system and make sure everything's okay before I hardwire in with a breaker and all that. Plus, it, one thing it does allow me to do currently is I can have an energy monitor on it so I can see what it's using and <clears throat> I can tell you that right now it is currently pulling 1350 watts and it is currently heating to not its maximum but it's heating quite a bit we'll flip that back to kilowatts which is what I was watching I want to see what it does in a 24 hour and a monthly time so let's get back to that setting There it is. So anyway, um, <clears throat> this is a unit that uh, not promoting anyone, but I got it from Signature Solar down in Texas. Um, it is doesn't really have a model. <laughs> it's just uh, on their website. It is a heat pump style water heater, 22 gallons. And it is a wall mounted. Uh, in this case, it's kind of got its own little separate thing I built for it. Um, it is currently 53 degrees Celsius, which doesn't give me the option to go to Fahrenheit. I believe that's close to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The way it works, <clears throat> I plumbed in from the fresh water supply on the other side of that tank. You can't really see it too well, but it comes in, second pipe to the right, comes in through a, another additional carbon filter down into this pump. And this is a zone pump or a uh, hot water pump that's designed to keep constant hot water in the system. I'm using this to go, basically it goes back behind into the bottom of the tank, which is the inlet side, down here, the camera's not real bright, okay, it comes into the tank, this unit is heating it, and it will come back out through the insulated pipe, over to the main marathon tank, which is the heavily, heavily insulated tank, this tank is rated at super efficiency, this is, if you look here, the standby loss, probably can't see it with the camera, the thermal efficiency at 98%, 0.67 BTU loss. I'm sorry, 0.67 percentage of loss in an hour. And it's a 75 gallon capacity. So in other words, it holds the heat well. The solar, which we're gonna get that completely finished, right now currently heats the bottom element. That's what this line comes in, it heats the bottom element off of three panels outside. That is actually getting boosted to a total of seven panels off a separate inverter. It's currently run on this little thing right here. But that's only able to put out about a thousand watts. So on a good solar day, it's fine, but not what we want. I've actually got bifacial panels, which will do much better in low light condition. So they will feed the bottom element, the top element is still traditional grid power, which again, we have a lot of solar here, so most of the time it's actually being solar powered. And then that pump that I showed you is circulating through this heater into here, cold side, and obviously it comes back out and it actually loops through the entire house, all the faucets, and then it returns right here. Okay, it's returning here through a secondary filter just for the sake of making things work. That comes back down to the T at the pump, and then it will continue to loop. This thing cycles, it has a smart option currently right now, it is cycling, um, it's set to cycle once, let's see, 150 seconds it runs every seven minutes. And it's a pulse is what they call it. Eventually this will be set to smart, which is where the sensor that's inside the return line here will look at the temperature and will cycle based on the needs of the house and the needs of everything else. 
I may leave it on this cycle that it's on and I may go to the smart. I don't know. Because the goal for me is not necessarily having hot water at all the faucets. My goal is to my goal is to uh, have what's coming from this tank fill this tank and this one store it. This preheats it off the air from the basement. Much more efficient because it's a heat pump style. And this is much better at storing it. So, and it just shut off. So, it had only run, this thing had only run about less than 10 minutes and brought everything up to temperature. Now, all that water will be pumped slowly into this tank, which is also being fed by solar currently today. And this is acting like a huge battery. So, this is storing all of that thermal energy. And of course, this will get to a lot hotter than 120 degrees, which could scold you. However, a little party trick. There's a mixing valve right here. This is a thermostatic mixing valve. This is designed to keep the temperature close to 120 degrees so that if it's coming in at say 160, it will mix cold water. And then there's a therm there's a, thing a thermal coupler in there essentially and a setting. I have, I have to adjust this setting once I get everything correct, but once it's where it needs to be, this valve will take 160 degree water in here, which means it will actually need a lot less than if it were 120 degree. Mix it with cold, send it out approximately 120 degree to the house. That means you're using far less actual hot water from the tank to achieve your 120 degree water at your faucets. And again, that's all getting cycled around the house and to the back constantly so these pipes stay constantly warm. So you don't have all that waste of water to heat the pipes. I don't know if you can hear that. But this pump just came on. It's pretty quiet. By the way, again, everything is in raw form. <laughs> so there's wires still. Um, the basement's still a mess because all this stuff I took out in order to do the work. All these things are getting put back. And all this will look nice and clean again. But in the current setup, it's worked out really good. It's only been a couple of days. We'll get some actual hard numbers, let you know what's going on here. But I've been asked many questions. Figured I'd post it. Next step you'll see is these will be replaced with some really nice grill watt inverters. I'll take you over and show you those real super fast. These are the batteries. And this is the grow-out inverter. This grow-out inverter will control nothing but the hot water tank. Then the inverter under it, we couple with these batteries and the solar inverters. And those are gonna give us uh, 30 kilowatts of storage. Um, hopefully I'll double that in the next year or two. But for now, that'll be our system. Any questions, and put them in the comments or whatever. Thanks for watching.